Amaranth is the biggest fraud on Twitch. You guys remember a couple months ago when Amaranth was having that situation with her ex-husband? Where basically she told the entire internet that her husband was actually abusive. And because of him, she was actually forced to do OnlyFans. He actually forced her to be sexualized on stream on a daily basis. And this was all because of financial reasons. Because this husband wanted to make a lot of money and he wanted to make it only for himself and he used Amaranth as a tool to get what he actually wants. So I want you guys to keep in mind that Amaranth, she never wanted to do any of these naked streams, right? She didn't want to stream on Twitch with absolutely no clothes. She didn't want to do an OnlyFans because Amaranth is actually a very good and wholesome girl with very good values and morals. And the only reason she was doing any of this was because she was forced to by her evil ex-husband, okay? Now, believe it or not, the absolute entire internet completely fell for this and believed her completely with absolutely zero proof regarding what she says because she started crying on stream and who can resist a grown woman crying shout out to optimus for these clips you make multi millions of dollars you want to burn it all to the ground because you're a sure whine about it i don't give a f anymore i'd rather be broke again and deal with this sh anymore <laughs> Ah, of course, that's right. Amaranth would actually rather be broke than actually sit on a Twitch daily humiliating herself with having her chest out on stream. That is completely beneath her, okay? She would rather be broke. The therapist even told him that it's a form of, like, psychological abuse and that I'm basically living in a fancy prison and then he was changed for a bit. And then the hot tub meta arose and he was like, oh, this is an opportunity. And then he turned into an asshole again when I agreed to commit to the grind because it was a good financial opportunity for us. Ah, yes. This uh, whole uh, hot tub meta that she pounced on. It was her admitting to commit to the grind because of her husband, right? She didn't want to do this topless hot meta or whatever the hell because she's an innocent princess, guys. That's what I want you to understand. Amaranth had no part in any of this. And I don't have to wear cleavage every day. <laughs> I can wear clothes. <laughs> Master has given Dobby a sock. Dobby is free. Oh, she doesn't she doesn't have to wear cleavage every day, guys. Oh my god, she was an actual slave but now she's completely free she put on a sweater and said that hey look at me guys i don't have to do this anymore acting like dobby from harry potter which is actually hilarious i'm finally free the absolute entire internet fell for this okay notably we had uh big commentators like ludwig uh making videos saying this is so horrible i completely believe her everybody should support her as a victim right the classic the el clasico amaranth is someone who I've called one of the hardest working humans on all of Twitch for years now. You should also support Amaranth as a victim. And there are a few people online who are taking the situation to shit on ammo. And I, I think that's just dumb to be honest anyways the situation with the husband is pretty complicated he was like screaming at her on stream and basically there's a bunch of uh, interesting text messages or whatever but i'm not here to talk about the specifics of that case because i don't know both sides i only know what amaranth told me and now i know that amaranth is a proven liar because after she got a divorce and now she's in complete control of all her accounts there is no shady business there amaranth is in complete control here she's no longer a sex slave or whatever Nobody's forcing her to show her body on the internet or be a hoe and she's not gonna run out of money or anything She was a top earner on OnlyFans. She has multiple businesses. She's invested. She sells her goddamn vaginal yeast Okay, I think she's good for life five billion generations over now turns out the internet as usual has an attention span of a goldfish and literally just like weeks after her uh, is Saying all these things about her husband and basically saying that the, the husband forced me to do all of this She went back to the OnlyFans back to the topless sort of streams the hot tub sort of streams and radio silence from the entire internet Nobody bothered to do an update on this because that would sort of go against the entire narrative that everybody wants to push 
that, oh, oh boy, men are evil. Women are always good. Women can do no wrong. Absolutely. Amaranth's not doing this out of her free will. She was being forced to by an evil man. There was no update on any of this. Ludwig then make another video saying, well, look, Amaranth is back doing her titty streams. Jesus Christ. And just saying I was one of the only ones who knew she was lying all along. Call me lie detector because I can sense the bullshit when someone speaks. But now she made an absolutely grave mistake here and she pushed it a little too far. She joined the censor bar meta on Twitch. One of the reasons people really hate this sort of stuff is because it is pet by nature because Twitch is a 13 plus website and majority of the users on Twitch are under 18. We're basically all these grown women are trying to capitalize off the minors on the website and increase their revenue that way, which is absolutely immoral. This type of content should obviously only be on adult websites where you can confirm the users are 18 plus. We got a tweet from Dick Serato saying um, Amaranth is using a physical sensor bar on her Twitch streams. Here we got a quote tweet from Optimus saying, remember though, her ex-husband was the one forcing her to do all this stuff for the finances. She was being sexualized against her will and didn't even want to make this kind of content to begin with, guys. I'll be honest, after I saw everything from her and the pictures that were posted, I felt for her and hoped that she would stop this, be a normal streamer and happy. Now she's just tripling down being an object, no respect for her. It's actually insane how people are justifying this. Like she was literally wearing a sweater and saying that, oh my God, guys, I don't even have to show my titties anymore and now she's showing the entire thing dude literally just nude over there the way people are justifying this is like oh yeah before the husband was forcing her to do it so that's why it was abuse and now she's doing it off her own volition meaning it's completely okay like no she literally said she's uncomfortable with this type of content and was being forced to do it dude that makes no sense i'd respect her doing what she's doing now a lot more if she didn't lie about it and just said yeah i like showing my body off for money attention. Like all of these people who were doing this on Twitch, I'm sorry, they have an extremely broken moral compass, okay? You know who's watching that sort of content and to pretend you don't, to put a blind eye to it is absolutely insane. I had a bunch of people in the comments of my last video saying majority of Twitch viewers are 18 plus and they showed me the analytics. They gave me that Casey Tron treatment where basically she'd show, pull up the analytics of a website and be like, hey, majority of users are 18 to 24. Any literal minor on the internet signs up as 18 plus on a website because you get access to absolutely everything. Every single person lies about their age on social media. We know kids are watching Twitch because it's a gaming website. It's a place where people want to relax and watch their games. Majority of viewers on Twitch are minors. If you cannot accept this fact, you are absolutely insane. It's all his fault, guys. Proceeds to do it anyways. Am I still an evil pig if I think it was an all an elaborate attempt to boost engagement? Now listen, I want to be perfectly clear here. I am not commenting on the husband situation. Maybe he was actually abusive. I am not commenting on that. All I'm saying is Amaranth is a proven liar at this point. She has a proven track record of being a liar, meaning if she lied about one aspect of that situation, could she have been lying about the other aspect or misrepresenting scenarios, yes, she absolutely could have been. Now, I don't know enough. I don't know both sides, so I'm not going to speak on that. I'm not going to say she's lying about that, that specific case. But I know what she did over here, and she was definitely lying about the fact that she's not comfortable with doing OnlyFans and her husband was forcing her to. Now, obviously, the only other people other than soy boys who would actually defend this behavior is other like OnlyFans type of chicks here. You have no idea what went on in her personal life, and it's obvious you're putting Amber on blast because she's famous for attention. What? Who actually cares that she continued to do what she did? Why would she stop if she's successful? I'm happy for her not being controlled by a man. I've been in that situation as well. Shame on you. How absolutely delusional. When the truth is presented in front of your face and you choose to absolutely ignore it, you choose to turn a blind eye to it, and you keep going on with your own random narrative you've constructed in your head. Is that not insane? Is that not absolutely insane? Okay, I was just going through Ludwig's uh, second 
second video on this and looking at the comment section here, I can wear clothes. That quote alone genuinely made me want to cry for her. Amaranth wearing a sweater she likes is such a small thing, yet such a huge moment. I don't know if anyone else noticed, but the amount of videos made and support shown for Amaranth is actually so nice to see. I just think it's so funny how the entire internet can be so absolutely easily manipulated and fall for a narrative so easily just because of a few crocodile tears and a carefully crafted story. This woman has zero morals. She streams on Twitch naked to literal 13 year olds. I mean, I'm sorry, I cannot have any sort of sympathy for those types of people. I know people try to think that, oh, these are, these are just strong, independent women just getting their bag. I'm sorry. If you do it on adult websites, sure, whatever. But if you're doing it on Twitch routinely after getting banned tons of times, abusing the rampant sexism on the platform, the lack of reinforcing the TOS and trying to line your pockets from underage kids, getting them addicted to this sort of content as well. It's insane. And you know what's the best part about these situations? You'll have people like Pokimane who pretty much speaks out about every Twitch related problem all the time. Like, you know, gambling and stuff like that. She'll call it out, say how absolutely immoral it is that you're getting kids addicted to gambling and stuff, but conveniently be completely silent regarding the extremely viral topless meta, the censor meta. This has been going on for literal months now and not a peep out of her. Anyways, guys, that's basically it. Let me know what you thought about all of this. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.